Try to catch me howling at the moon A financially intelligent business owner, which everyone here should be striving to be, it's why you're here, uses three different financial statements, and these are the tools that they use in order to measure the success or the score of their business. These reports will tell you where you've been, where you are, and where you're projected to go if you continue on at the same pace. The first report is your balance sheet. This, uh, this report's often ignored by many business owners, but every financial decision that happens in your business impacts this report. The next report is your income statement. You may have also heard people call it a P&L or a profit and loss statement or a, a statement of operations. They're all the same thing, but for some reason, there's just several names for it. Uh, this report shows your sales or income or revenue. It also shows your expenses or your costs. And at the bottom, it shows your profit uh, or net profit or earnings. Again, these are all the same, just different names that accountants use to confuse us. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> Remember, your profit does not mean that this is the cash your business made. So anybody ever look at their income statement and it shows that you have profit, but then you have a conversation with your bookkeeper, you look in your account and it's not saying the same thing. It's like, wait a minute, you're saying I made money, but my bank account's not saying anything. It's pretty damn quiet right now, okay? <laughs> well, that's because they're not the same thing, okay? And we're gonna talk about that too. This report is an explanation of what happened in your business over a period of time in regards to what you made and also what you paid to make it. The third report is your cash flow statement. This is a report that many investors prefer to look at when analyzing performance. A company's ability to generate cash is an important factor when investors are researching opportunities, or at least a good investor. Cash flow simply refers to cash that a company has paid out or received. In other words, it's any revenue, gain, expense, or payment that a company has actually realized that has actually impacted their bank account. So this is the number that you guys actually wish was what your P&L was, okay? In a perfect world, cash flows would be identical to your P&L, but unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. It almost never happens. So these are the three big reports that good business owners use in order to measure the score of their business, and I want you guys to do them too. Uh, Keith Cunningham, author of The Ultimate Blueprint for an Insanely Successful Business. So he claims that less than 50% of business owners use them and less than 3% of business owners even really know how to read them, okay? Well, that ends today. You guys are gonna know how to do all three.